September of this year, 2024, marked five years that I've had my Bronco. Five awesome years. I've been so happy with it. It has become my number one smoker slash griller because not only can you smoke on it, but you can also grill on it. It has been fantastic. It has held up for me for the past five years. I've had it outdoors, covered, uncovered. I've had it in my garage and it's still one piece after five years. That is awesome. That is awesome. But I'm going to bring you a little closer so you can check it out and see how it's looked after five years. So let's do it. All right. So that's what it looks like after five years. Yeah, it needs a wash. But other than that, still looks good. Uh, let's check in the inside. Now, like I said, it's been five years. And that five years, I have not once cleaned it in the inside. But I will be doing that. Yes, I will, because it is time. Uh, it is time. But, yeah, so let's get that. See what it looks there's a heat diffuser plate and then there it is, leftover charcoal from last cook right there so yeah but uh, you know uh, I'm gonna be doing just a chicken breast cook but just wanted y'all to see just after five years what it looks like and and uh, there was only one issue that came with it when they were first produced is that the side intake right here was the wrong size so you see right here it sits flush touching the bottom of it well when it first came out it only went up about here so this part was still sticking upwards you can still see this part right here but they corrected it and they would send you the correct intake piece right here so now you can see it worked out so that was the only issue with it but then they corrected it so that was awesome that was awesome and people were like saying that they noticed a difference with the uh, trying to control the temp because of how that wasn't the right size and but honestly i really didn't but there were a lot of people who did but i didn't but so i was like you know what i'm still gonna get it fixed and hey they did well but yeah that's what it looks like so i'm telling you this right here is a set it and forget it smoker right here you can set the temp that you want it's gonna stay at that temp you can do things that you do need to do around the yard like that right there i gotta fix that fence right there so i'm gonna uh, do that but yeah this is awesome so let's just do a, a little cook of that chicken breast so you can see it in action if this is your first time viewing my channel but yeah after five years five year anniversary right here beautiful look at that can't go wrong with this bronco right here after five years condition of the charcoal basket but uh I'm doing a mixture of cowboy brand and B and B. I had some leftover, so I thought I'd just mix it up. Got the Weber cube right there in the middle, since this cook's not going to be a too long of a cook. So you know, normally place it in the middle, but if you're going to be doing a long cook, if you don't know, you place it on the side, so it can burn and burn everything up slowly. That's what it is so far pecan wood right there yep. all right I like what I see so let's bring it right in all right just like that 
since I'm going to be hanging the uh, chicken breast, I'm not going to go and add the heat diffuser plate. But I will be touching this one right there. And then this one right there. So it's going to look like that. But I'm going to shut it down. Open this up wide open. Let's go in between the one and the two. And I'm going to wait to add the pecan until I uh, get to cooking. Uh, it is hot. I'm sweating. Ooh, oh yeah, it's gone past 250. So I did dial it back to the one on the smoke Stack right there Place it at the one because remember it was at the one between the one and the two, but I placed it at the one So let's see if we can get that uh, to 250 That's still the charcoal right there burning but uh, Yeah, I'm just gonna get it to uh the 250 you know if you watch my videos you know that's the number I love you don't have to go that number if you want it hot go 300 above 300 that's all your choice when you're cooking it's your choice do what you please that's what I do so I'm gonna get it to around 250 and I'm gonna put on those big chicken breasts delicious it's at my favorite number 250 so, is that the pecan? One in the middle, one to the side, and another to the side. Uh, look at that. I'm gonna add one right there. That's some good size right there. Yeah, good size. All right, so just gonna let it ride and get it to above 165, maybe 170. But yeah, smoke, smoke, smoke. Gotta love it, five years of the Bronco. Man, five years. All right, so let's get to cooking. Dragonfly wants to get some of that fan. It's hot. <laughs> We're gonna go catching the waves. <laughs> Close to 250. Mixture of uh, Cowboy Brand and B and B. Holding up well. Yeah, how awesome this Bronco is. Just how awesome it is. Yeah. Drinking vodka. Ugh. Nah, it's water. It's just hot out here. <laughs> uh, I gotta stay hydrated. Water, and then of course the brew. Uh, but this is the life. Yep, that's the number. So let's check them out. Oh, oh man. 
Well, I'll get that. What do you think? Let's get a close up, right? I think they done. What do you think? And then there's the charcoal wood chunks. The B and B cowboy brand. Yeah. It's looking good. So let's just get a a quick temp real quick. Will that read 157? 58. Alright, we're getting there. So I'm gonna give it about another maybe 20, 20, 25 minutes, maybe 30. Oh, yep. Using that. Man, beautiful. Alright. So let's just close it up and let it ride. I say another 30 minutes then. Yeah, she's smoking. I'm telling you, I'm just five years of this Bronco right here. It's amazing. Still performing well. And I just love it. Five three years. <laughs> oh man, and I know you really can't tell from here. Maybe you can, but it's sitting at 250. 250 with the mixture of BB &B and Cowboy. Yeah. So like that you can mix your charcoal and it still performs well. Uh, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And I don't get paid by Oklahoma Joe's at all to, if you think I'm promoting this right here. Nope, no sir. No ma'am. Nope. I get no money promoting this other than what I make off the video. Yeah. It is beautiful. Uh, uh, I could always say, get yourself a Bronco. You won't be disappointed. I'm gonna try a new beer. I've seen it HEB lately. Never had it. So, wouldn't even know how to pronounce it. I just know that it's a lager. <laughs> so, let's try it out. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking by me all these years. Oh, here we go. Damn. I thought it was maybe a little malty, but man, went down smooth. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. So, I don't know if you know about this beer. I like to try the different things that I see. I'm trying not to just stick to one thing, you know. But yeah, I dig it. Let's get back to cooking. We're almost at the finish line. <laughs> oh, it is hot, but this cook is done but this video wasn't about to cook it was about that right there I gotta say five years it has not let me down I have done no mods to it none at all other than what I mentioned before about Oklahoma Joe's replacing the side stack because you know they screwed up on that right there but they did a great job in replacing it as long as you contacted them about it they did it for free so that was awesome but after five years it's still in I want to say great condition because it's not broken it's not rusted yeah it needs to be cleaned in the inside which I'm gonna do and I'm gonna get some comments about that but I am going to clean the inside but that's after five years of just cooking on it, smoking, grilling, hanging your meat. I've cooked 
briskets on there, hanging briskets, chicken, chicken breast, just like you see here, sausage, ribs, whatever ribs are going in there, hanging, turkey, whole turkey hung in there, cooked it. You can use the diffuser plate, or if not, like here, I'm not using the diffuser plate, letting it ride just like that, letting it, the meat, consume the charcoal in the smoke however you want to do it this has just been an awesome 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 bronco smoker oklahoma joe's they did awesome on this it's my favorite it is my favorite but i just wanted to share this video with y'all because I am proud of the smoker, happy about it. Five years, hopefully, it will be another five years and it'll be in the same condition. You know, I'm gonna try to take care of it as best I can. If I'm gonna have it out here, I'm gonna have it covered. If not, it'll be in the garage. But, I think it's about time, you know. The food's ready. Add some sausage to it. So, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Smoke on, everyone. I uh, hope you're keeping cool. Cause it's hot. I'll see you on the next one.